Ladies and gentlemen, stick around. We've got Ideas by Elliot. Hey, folks, you're listening to Ideas by Elliot. And we're here with Ideas by Elliot. Podcast, podcast, <laughs> podcast. <laughs> This is the Ideas by Elliot podcast, sponsored by... Well, let's stop there for a second. I think it's time for some additional sponsors, don't you? Camera Corner Studios is in demand. Hopefully, in part to what we're doing here, it's to the point where scheduling is getting super difficult for in-studio episodes. Release Wire. Be on the lookout or listen out for a more polished and organized podcast I'm working on in conjunction with the brilliant wireheads there. I have a new series of podcast episodes I'll be doing with attorney Trisha Nell. You'll hear her passion firsthand in some new, more serious episodes. We even made some new intro music. These will be coming soon, and they will be right here with the other episodes we've done. And finally, Yikes Salon. Everyone knows Jerry is the master Jedi of hair artistry, and she's my third favorite sister-in-law. You know, I feel they are all awesome, and they are hopefully not going anywhere. I think this is a great platform for some new ideas. So get your ideas out. We have a few thousand listeners on average, not millions, but not hundreds either. We know we have listeners that are the most influential people in the Green Bay area and from all over the world each episode. That's all due to my usually awesome guests. You should go to ideasbyelliot.com right now and complete the contact form and we can talk about how you can be a sponsor. This is episode number 23 with Brown County Taxpayer Association President Richard Parents. In this episode, Richard and I discuss the 32 years of the BCTA, the Packers tax, the burden of taxes on businesses, and why the BCTA membership list is private. Music by popular demand is from Mr. Gonzalez. So this this is a repeat track. This is Kyle with his friend Bacon, Mr. Gonzalez. They called themselves. So do you see him down at the Farmer's Market or anything? Well, this is my son. He plays. Oh. uh, uh, I think he's on the banjo, and his friend is on the guitar. Ah. And his friend's name is Bacon. His friend's. I don't even know his actual name. It's he calls him Bacon. Bacon. You know. You know. You know. You know. Everybody loves Bacon. You know how young people are, and everybody everybody does love (laughs) Bacon. That's true. Yeah, it's the uh, it's the the uh, the vegan killer. Yeah. <laughs> I think ba- vegans love bacon too. They just won't admit it. I don't know anybody I, that right? does. It. It's How like everybody loves the smell of coffee. Not everybody drinks coffee, <laughs> but they love the smell of coffee. I always except, wondered too. Except, except I remember when uh, Starbucks got. I thought you were going to say except for Tom Brady. Oh no, Tom Brady's never had coffee. Well, in his life, I don't yeah. believe that. <laughs> I don't either. It's a lie. It uh, that's that's. I, yeah, I, he does methamphetamines instead. I have, a, I have, a, I have an addiction problem. <laughs> yeah. So the uh, the other voice that you hear that is my friend Richard Parents. Yeah. Hello. Who I know primarily as the president, president of, of the Brown County Taxpayers Association. So yeah, for longer than I really wanted to do it, but how long has it been? I think I've since 1999, the end of 1999, I've been president. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So briefly, tell me about uh, what, what Barack is... Obama would love to have my position. <laughs> I don't know about that, actually. I think he, I think he's I act- wouldn't like him to have my position. I think he's anxious to get out. You think so? so I, well, I, did you, you probably didn't. I mean, uh, I uh, I saw the uh, he was on with um, uh, Jerry Seinfeld. Oh. Jerry Seinfeld has like a, yep. an online yep. show. And yep. You saw that. Uh, you heard I it? have. Yes, yeah, I yeah. saw some of that. He seems like he's ready to go. <laughs> he, yeah, but I, I guarantee you, five minutes out, he's going to have his nose in it, because he he can't walk away from being the biggest ro- voice in the room. Right. So that's just how I think that's his character. Even when he ran, I mean, he he was very and he's good at it. Oh, he just came out of nowhere and yeah. just took over. Came out of nowhere and took over. Yeah, got that right. So tell me about the Brown County Taxpayer Association. Well, 
Uh, we're thirty. We're into our thirty-second year, and uh, and I. I should know the uh, the first incident was a sales tax that was tried to be passed, the half percent sales tax, way back when. It was passed by the uh, Brown County supervisors, and then everybody in the community got so pissed off that they backed down and got rid of it. it now that's come back to uh, to us again and again, and it will come back to us again and again because. People are just looking for more money to of yours to spend, yours and mine. Well, I don't have any money. Well, <laughs> they'll find it even if you don't have it. They'll take it from you. So that was my first experience yeah. with, the, with the Brown County Taxpayer Association was the the Lambeau Field Tax. Oh, the Lambeau Field Tax. Yeah, this was before I, that. I, I, I yeah, know. there was one more. I, was, I haven't been there for 32 yeah, years. No, no, nor have I. <laughs> I think I started maybe three or four years before that, and uh, – I don't even remember why or how, but it, and it doesn't matter. I, I enjoyed it, and the the meetings have been all over the place. Now we're uh, at, it's called the Four Seasons Tennis Club. It's way out on Riverside Drive, almost to De Pere, and there's a restaurant, Take Five, Doug's Take Five. May as well get him a plug. He's a good guy. And uh, so we meet there now. We've met at a lot of different places, including Titletown. And then Titletown just got too big for us, and uh, they just didn't have room for us any longer. But we were supported very well for a long time by Brent Weicker that way. So I like as, and know as a friend for a long, long time. He's okay. He's okay. He would make me pissed off for a while, too, because he's so busy he wouldn't oh. call me back. Well, he won't be on <coughs> he, He's too busy to be on my show. Oh, probably. But he was, he's, makes me you know, crazy. Yeah, the, and, you know, there's some real movers and shakers in this community. Can we stage a boycott of Titletown if he doesn't do my show? Sure. For a while. Right. We'll do a one-year boycott. You think that would have any effect? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think I can boycott Titletown. I'm sorry. I can't I don't know. support you in I gave, that one. I, I, okay. I gave them I gave them this. Didn't not I didn't charge him a nickel of consulting. So <laughs> you are Green Bay's number two tourist destination. Oh really? And they refuse to use that, and it's true. Is it true? It's absolutely true. Name number two if it's not that. I. It's not. There's nothing even close. The railroad museum is on I, the map, but they're not number two. No. It's no, when you when you have there somebody, are more people. Yeah, and people from out of town, family, everybody. That's where they want to go. Okay, so, so I'm going to give Brent a bill for a sponsorship. Yeah, of the show, you though. should, <laughs> and he won't pay it. <laughs> he, he actually, you know what? Uh, he pays his bills really well, and but he he uh, oftentimes insists on like paying in person. It's it's uh, oh, really it's very interesting. Yeah, because I'm I'm all about I'm that like, kind of person. I'm once all in about a while. like automation yeah. and like no. I, I don't want to see There's who I some... pay. I don't want to see who pays me, and just let the money flow. There's some things I love to have that eye to eye contact. <laughs> You know, it's are very you interesting. are you really, <laughs> really, or are you just thinking that? <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So, uh, so, so we, you know, we've been together a long time and uh, involved in a lot of different things. That the first and biggest issue after that initial one, uh, I think things went quiet for a little while, but everybody kept meeting, and uh, then the Lambo sales tax came up and. We, you know, we we were in opposition to it, and we're, why? Why? Because we don't believe in supporting with a private industry, especially the entertainment industry, with with taxpayer money. Um, it and it did turn out great. Nobody's going to say it didn't because it did, but it's more of an ethical situation. And when you look at the NFL. They all but two cities in the entire league and almost every other city. And now the Bucks, I can tell you, we'll talk about that, too. Good. They've all gotten into the taxpayers' pockets to take care of their venues. And I just don't see, you know. So there's two. Uh, there's like I heard two. San Francisco is one that did not. And uh, the guy uh, in uh, the Patriots oh, stadium. Oh, okay. Yep. I didn't know that. Yep. Okay. Yep. Interesting. Or it, it, San Francisco, or it could have been uh, no the Seattle. I see. Okay. Paul I, Allen, I think. I could be wrong. Paul Allen, I'm not sure, 
I know that uh, that the Patriots Stadium was built so, uh, the by their I own th- money. I thought the Cal- the uh, the San Francisco thing came up is because of the big movement with San Diego and and uh, Oakland and, oh. and St. Louis. All yeah, well, all moving to L- <laughs> all moving to L.A. <laughs> what the heck is that? I mean, I used to go to. Uh, I lived in Los Angeles for a long time. I used to go to uh, when the Packers or the L.A. Rams played down in uh, Orange County. Just terrible place to see a football game. It's really? like, oh yeah, it's almost as bad as the San Diego Stadium. That's another terrible place to see. Really? If you sit on the one end zone, you cannot see the end zone. Oh really? From half, I'm not even all the way up or anything. Halfway up, we thought oh. we had good seats because of where the numbers were and everything. Yeah. We missed all the touchdowns that came that way. Of course, the Packers lost anyway. That Super Bowl. Oh. So it was a terrible day to begin with. You know, only made you, worse. You, usually, if uh, you will only hear "of course" and Packers lost, only from a Green Bay native. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. So anyway, uh, we that that's really the reason that we opposed that was purely on that kind of ethical situation. We and we opposed, and I was you know vocally strong and wrote to many of the legislators spoke with legislators that we didn't feel it was right again for the bucks to dip into the pockets of people up in Langley County and whatnot that so, will never go to that place. And why? what benefit is it going to give for the, the snowmobilers up in <laughs> Langley so, County? So, okay, I, I, I agree with that position, right? And I agreed with it back then. However, like the devil's advocate, the, the opposing viewpoint is without the Packers – Green Bay is Fargo, North Dakota. Like everybody thought, that's where that's when the vote went the other way. It was 50-50 right to the yeah. last three, four days. Then the Packers said, well, we could lose the team. They can't lose a team. It's just not going to ever happen. Do you realize what a fiasco that would have been for the NFL? Not only that, I think the way the, the charters set up and everything, uh, it, it wasn't going to happen. But, you know... That's what happened. And the Bucks now, that, that's, that's another case because those two owners, who more can afford to pay that 90-some million that they filched from the, from the citizens of Wisconsin? Those guys are billionaires, hedge fund billionaires, and, uh, which, you know, I'm good for them. They make a lot of money, but they don't need mine. They don't need mine. Right. So I mean that gets, becomes a complicated thing because uh, oh, yeah. they 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 sell the idea that the stadium can be used for other th- other things. Well, and Lambeau Field is Lambeau but, Field's used you know ten times a year. <laughs> There's very that little is there. A little bit more than that. Well, actually, now since they and that was a good argument. Now after the atrium gets used constantly, mm-hmm. and the rest of the stadium with all the but additional not for free. rooms. For oh it. no, they get paid for everything. So. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully it's – but – and that was some of the other things. And I don't even know if I want to say this, but Brent was uh, a big supporter of the Lambo. And then he realized that they're – with uh, some of the restaurants, there, they were taking his business. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, so. Th- that's the thing. I mean, so, so like uh, – So the hand you're feeding bites you. Right. So the, the economic impact of the Packers mm-hmm. outside of hotels and restaurants – I don't really know how much like they're not going to leave, right? But if they did leave, oh, no, that, how big would it be? It, in, in Green Bay's bigger than anywhere. Yeah, the Packers are bigger than it, anywhere. It would that would be, and this is, and why they never went to the whole state for the tax? I don't know because the whole state is green and gold. Absolutely. I mean, I don't care where you go in the state. I don't see that many Bucks fans or stuff like that. So if you're talking apples to apples. Or apples to oranges. It's definitely apples to oranges. Oh yeah. I think there are a lot more Packer fans than you'll ever see Bucks fans or uh, Brewer the, fans. Y- yep. Sorry, my dad's a Brewer fan. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> you know, I just I think I've been to one game when they built the new stadium. It's fun. And, yeah, it's super it's a, fun. It's a, but but when of, I know the taxpayers were on the hook for they uh, still uh, are. Uh, <laughs> it never so ended I, there. Uh, At least our tax ended. Right. Well, yeah. well, it should have like, ended a year earlier, which I, is yet another but I think issue. Largely, that is thanks to the Brown County Taxpayer Association. Yeah, because I don't think that I, I don't think anybody would have been, uh, you know, taxes go on forever. I don't have to tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and there was a big push. We that was the first thing when we knew that that was going to happen. We anticipated it, and we just kept 
we've been holding our mud on that until someone tries to you know jump in again and we try and slap it down immediately and so, we did this last time so but there was a, it'll be there again I, I was in the providing dial-up internet access you know back in the old, right back in the old days in oh the yeah 90s, that right? was the old days <laughs> you look and, that way but uh <laughs> well, I, I look i look older than than i am I think. <laughs> than you are <laughs> you're probably <laughs> older older than you feel anyway never got this kid out of the high school there you go yeah uh so we had to pay this uh this telecom tax our customers had no idea we yep. had to pay this telecom tax from uh on each phone line that we had Oh my goodness! We had yeah, hundreds, that's right. Hundreds, thousands. That tax of phone is lines. still there. No, that the so the this particular oh that particular tax one was was uh, started in uh, I, I'm going to get the year wrong, but it's more it was more than 100 years old. It was to pay for the Spanish American War. That I don't think that has been so taken away. I could be wrong. I'm well, going to look well, that up. Well, too it got because, taken away for us. Yeah. So oh, I, for I, you, whatever. Okay. I don't care if yeah. you're paying it, but we didn't. Well, have to pay I it. think <laughs> you're still paying it. If you have a landline, you're still paying it. That, and that very well, it, like. That so that's like the the the, the like. See, so you had all those landlines. Oh my god! Yeah. It was, oh, oh yeah. Like thousands, I think it was crazy. Did really? Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. How did you ever manage all of that? Well, you know that's what I do. Yeah. So. No, I mean I yeah. I'm impressed. And it was it was hard, and there were a lot of it was not the <laughs> the, the phone lines weren't hard. It was the customers, the people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, because it was complicated. Yeah. Well, then, so. somebody's got to pay it was for rough. it. So uh, I want to just do a quick sidebar to uh, you. Sure. You had asked when we were off air how people can listen to this, and I know if people are listening, they don't need it explained. But uh, I like to help uh, explain to people how they can explain to other people how to listen to this. <laughs> how to listen to this. So uh, and it's too bad you don't have it up on the screen. Yeah, so it's not on video, but uh, you can go to ideasbyelliot.com. That's nice, by the way, that it's not on video. Okay. Well, uh, most good radio is not on video. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> and. There's so, some powerful people out there from radio. I, oh, I, my goodness. I think there are. Yeah. Yeah. Even uh, in the small markets. Well, I think it's better. Uh, I think it puts people at ease when there's uh, when there's video cameras pointing at them. It's, it's more it's for just, the imagination when it's no no faces. They don't have to look at their stupid tie right. or whatever. Right. And, you know, most people that are interested in that to, guy. <laughs> right. Well, right. Like, I, I, I have an outfit no for comment. radio. <laughs> so uh, if you go to ideasbyelliot.com. You can right. you can see so like on this one uh, there's the the most recent episode with the owner of Gavarna Alex Gall sure uh, he's running for county board yep uh, my friend David Snowpeck uh, we did a presidential politics episode that actually was video thanks to Nick All right. uh, we did a Star Wars fan show oh boy that, I should have thing. been here for that yeah uh, so so uh, they they can they can directly play there's a little blinking button they can hit yeah. play right on the website if they want to but they can also subscribe on their Android or their iPhone. Right at the bottom. If okay. I scroll down, there's a little Apple guy and there's a little Android sure. guy. You click on the one that you the have. The one that you use. And then it, it helps you subscribe. Right All right. There. Well, so. that's good to know because um, I'll be looking for it. And I had to put it on YouTube even though there's no video. Max, my son, made, uh, he's, oh, old, really? he's 11. He said, uh, I want to. They're I want still it. doing audio? Yeah, I've seen audio. So so we, so we just put a still picture uh -huh. or a slideshow yeah. or whatever. But uh, my son said, if you want me to send people to your show. You, you have to be that's on great <laughs> no get every get on everything you can so, so it's, it's well a, you told me that so i mean a, early so it's on. actually everywhere so there's yeah. there's facebook we actually have a facebook group that i'm going to add you to now that okay. you're a guest so you get the inside track on all this stuff oh boy uh there's a tumblr page a twitter a linkedin a pinterest an instagram a Flickr, a there's YouTube. so many yeah. there that so, i don't use because they're just too many yeah so, but different people use different. Use ones. them for different reasons. Yeah. I, I uh, so, or they wouldn't be existing. Like younger people use a lot of Instagram. Yep. And uh, we have extra photography. So I've I got it on. I've got it, but I just don't use it. Yeah. And uh, yeah. if you knew me, you'd say, "No, we don't need him to be on Instagram." <laughs> so, uh, so actually, yeah. in your role as president of the Brown County Taxpayer Association, I think it actually would be really cool if you you know snap a picture of your guest. Throw that out there. That's not a bad yeah. idea. Uh, it doesn't have to be well, a lot of work. But, we, it you know. took us, well, there's just a couple of us that finally pushed us up on the Facebook. Yeah. So that we were happy, and that's where I try to post things because uh, we're going to have to move that way. We still give a printed newsletter. Send it out. I'm and well aware. It's one of the things <laughs> that people, you know, they like. I don't, but, and it's partly, partly age. But I think there's still something to be said about having something in your hands that you can take to the John. 
<laughs> so, so. <laughs> and, and and I feel like I've had this discussion with you, but yeah. the uh, you know the the in the on the other hand. Um, I might want to read it on my Kindle yep. or on my iPad. Well, that's what we needed to do. So we, we got that so that you can go yeah. to that newsletter now. Or print it on my own or yep. print another copy for my friends. Oh, that's true. But you know. we'd happily send them one. Yeah. So Postage is a killer. It just went up again. Yeah. Did it go up again? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and it's tricky because now it, you know we used to hear about it more. I think they, they kind of pushed it under the table. Well, yeah. we, we get the bulk rate. I mean. Sure. But Absolutely. We buy, so we so buy actually the bulk license. rate might not have gone up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we buy that license. So uh, you just had a, a taxpayer association yep. meeting we, yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday. Uh, and this is on the twenty second, so we're talking about the twenty first. What were some issues that? Well, that came the up? the original intent uh, right now, Green Bay, the entire county, all the municipalities, the little burgs everywhere, are trying to figure out what to do with the excess tax that was collected from the Lambo tax, mm -hmm. and. We, uh, we were supposed to have Tom DeWayne. He unfortunately had to cancel for a family emergency. Tom DeWayne is who? Tom DeWayne is the current city council president and the Brown County supervisor. Okay. I've known Tom, though, a very long time. He and his wife, his kids, my kids and my wife, all traveled in soccer okay. So together. So they, we go back a long, a long way. We popped a couple in front of a campfire. Nice. So... <laughs> I know Tom real well. More that better that way than I do him in the the role as alderman or anything like that, because I'm not in his district. Sure. But you know, I I watch him. He's someone that's gone somewhere with it. Works hard at it, or he wouldn't get to be council president. I'll guarantee you that. He. Um, but anyway, Tom wasn't going to make it, and so we had a discussion. There were two listening sessions that took place. Uh, after they said, well, we've got to give this back, the, the state said it's got to go back in th two or three different specific ways, one of which is very loosey-goosey. And, you know, we've always felt that this was taken from the tax – it was taken from the taxpayers. It was not asked for. It was taken well, they from – asked you. to take it. Yeah, they asked to take it, and they were <laughs> foolish enough to say yes. But <laughs> that's why, you know, got to watch who's – Asking to get in your pocketbook. But anyway, um, so there's a big chunk of cash, probably the biggest goes to the county. And I'm trying to get Troy Streckenbach, our county uh, executive, to come and say what their thoughts are there. But that ultimately, that bigger piece of the pie will be parsed out by the, the uh, Brown County supervisors. They have the power to tax and vote on things like that without... A direct community uh, say, There's, you you know anyone who calls them up, you can give them your two cents worth about. Hey, I think it ought to do so this. So they're deciding how the money's going to go. Yep, and the same with the city council. So there were two listening sessions. So how is that divided out though? So the county gets to decide on a certain. It, it's percent, a perc or? it's based on the uh, percentage of uh, residents okay. in each of the particular municipalities, and actually, the, the there is a there's a preceding split that was. The state set up is 80-20, 80% to all the municipalities, and then that, that portion was split up by population, 20% to the county. And so they get to use that. I, and I have no idea, and I'd like to know what the thoughts are. But right now, with all the different races of which you're doing a lot of work with, I don't think people, they're still trying to figure out what the community really wants. And I've talked to a few of the council. Do you know roughly like how much money we're talking about? Um, for whom? Anybody. I don't know. Uh, I should, Nick but I yelled, don't. Nick yelled at me for looking at my notes, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to put it back on you. I, well, <laughs> you can do that, and I'm going to plead ignorance because I, I'm never one to remember a lot of figures like that. I'm more about the philosophy behind whatever is going to happen and uh, how it's going to happen and the people behind it. So uh, it's millions. 17. Uh, yeah, 17. 17 for million. For the city? Uh, no, for seven, the no, no, I'm sorry. Three-fourths. Uh, okay, so I'm reading oh, something I, I from— I could be wrong. It's I, well, I'm reading this from November, so yeah. that could have changed. But okay, so— Three-fourths uh, so to back, the— So back in November, anyway, they were talking about uh, three-fourths was 17 million. Yep. Uh— 
three four no three fourths of the more than seventeen million, and then the remaining four point five million. Weird, weird wording of the article. Yep. But uh, um, so it was the city. I knew so the four point five, five million is going to go to Brown, bucks, yeah. is going to go to Brown County. Yep. For yep. uh, the arena, shop going well, and whatever it doesn't have to go to that. That's those are things that are not been voted on yet well according to this article which was in november it says the remaining 4.5 million dollar revenue was specifically designated for use by brown county to deal with the aged veterans memorial arena i gotta look that up <laughs> so i hope I'm they not, stick to it i'm i'm <laughs> I don't know what else they have to spend money on at the county oh, level. And I know there are. I tell you what, but. they can. This is where we have taken a stand on this. First of all, the tax was taken from the people. Mm-hmm. It ought to be go back to them. And we've had people call us and say, "How do I get my part of this?" Mm-hmm. Well, you know, did you save every receipt from every purchase that you made? Right. No, you didn't. And then, there, what about all the people that were from out of town sure. and they they pitched in as well? So the most. The way that we feel it can go back and have a, a longer lasting impact is to actually pay down debt okay. or not incur new debt. Pay cash. How about that? That's a real interesting thought that the government would pay cash for something and not bond it for 20 years for that truck that they're going to replace in seven. They'll bond it for 20 some years. And, uh, you know, that's just a very bad way to finance your, your business. In fact, uh, there's a lot of government things that are financed over a long period of time. Paybacks are just terrible, and yet no one gets fired. Uh, I mean, I was at a uh, a sewage district meeting, mm-hmm. so oh yeah, this is a whole other thing. They they're doing what you know everybody thought would be a great recovery system for energy, yeah. getting the gas and things sure. and then burning it. But it's environmental and, uh, too, though, right? Yeah, that's that's okay. what they say. Okay. But at the same time, the cost of energy has gotten so cheap. We're at the meeting, and that was before oil and everything started to fall so rapidly. Mm-hmm. There with one of the uh, the presidents, one of the big companies that has a lot to do with uh, that sewerage district. And he asked the, the head there, he says, when, so what's the payback on this? And he says, 17 years. He says, my board would fire me if I told them anything like that. And it is. It's ridiculous. And now come to find out that the payback's being pushed out even further. So it was so a boondoggle. Was, it was an opt- optimistic sense. Yeah, it was years. a boondoggle. Yeah. But it's a real boondoggle. And, you know, it's costing already. I love that word, a, boondoggle. Yeah, that's I, a great. I'm, I'm, I'm stealing Are that. you one of those people? Or where the heck did that come? Cat Raining cats and dogs. You know, that's one of my favorites. I, I ah. love the word boondoggle, and I yeah. never use it. And I, and I should. Oh, yeah, because <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. Uh, there's nothing track. like a good boondoggle. <laughs> you, you, you hope you were on the better end of it. <laughs> anyway, uh, it, it just uh, stuff like that. Just so what kind but, of money are we have, talking about for that? Um, the whole project, I think, it was 140 million. Your water rates have gone up by over nine percent per year for I think it's about seven or eight year period. Compounded, <laughs> so it's even worse than that. Water's free, isn't it? With sewerage <laughs> and water, actually, it's it's mostly for the sewerage, and the water bills are figured off of the sewerage. Sure. So, which is a real weird, but the sewerage district they have they don't have to report to anyone. Well, they and they have a monopoly. Oh yeah, so, they have a monopoly, and, and but they they just. So what can you do about that? <sighs> complain to the only person that could probably affect it, and in such a minor way would be the county executive because he does appoint some of the people that sit on the commission. But like everything else of those autonomous, especially the bigger organizations that, you know, if they shut down, you're in deep doo-doo, literally. Literally. (laughs) (laughs) Well, and they they, they tend to outlive the politicians. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So then... They can't be touched. Yeah, well, they they literally, in this case, they cannot be touched because there's no, they don't report to the, uh, if they have a rate increase, they have to get a little pox for Biscom from the Wisconsin uh, Public Service uh, Commission or whatever it's called, PUC, Public Utilities Commission, but they can't tell them they can't do it or anything like that, So and they never get turned down. Hmm. So there's really no, they set all of their own salaries. They set all of their own benefits. They were b- virtually unaffected by Act 10, unlike uh, the rest of the public employees that sort of had to pitch in. And So is that a Wisconsin problem, or is that a nation problem? Uh, it tends to be a nationwide. Apparently, the sewerage districts have grown up that way. 
So from we were just talking about it and we were trying to figure out because a lot of these things, they all happen in the background. You don't complain. You know, you will if your power goes out. And you're saying we, the Taxpayer <coughs> Association. Yeah, yeah. So the most informed people in this community kind of don't even know. Well, we do know, but we didn't catch that one early right. enough. But that's we what I mean. literally <laughs> did not catch that one early enough when they – but a lot of it – you know, unless you're down at their building and you look at their billboard, you know, when they're posting a meeting, quite often it does not get in the paper. That is so true of so many different things. Unless you go down to City Hall and every week read what's coming up, what's going to be voted on, you may not know and whap upside the head. So that uh, I always thought, you know, that would be a great uh, service to the community if someone was able to post all of those different things and at least you could go to one place and sort of scroll down and say, you know what, this is important enough for me to get involved. Well, and you in. kind of do that at your meetings. You have some. Yeah, we tried. We have a lot of people that are very smart. A lot of them are engineers, and uh, you know they they don't miss skip a beat on this stuff, and they watch every nickel and dime and look for that payback and all of those things. That's what their background is, and they're successful. They were successful at it. So we got some very smart people that uh, are in our group. And a few of them that uh, can BS their way through it, like myself. Oh. So, <laughs> I thought you were anyway. going to be like, that's why you're not invented anymore. <laughs> oh, boy. No, my story is real different than that. <laughs> so uh, so I want to I want to go into that a little bit. But uh, what I, I, so what I do it with one... the excess tax, let's finish yeah. that up. Good. So there's all these different ideas. There were two listening sessions. And what it is appears is I don't think they're going to vote on it. And it's the county supervisors that really, it's got to happen there first. And the city council, I don't think any of them really wanted to do that before the election. And I don't think people want to. It, they're, they're just, it takes a long time for this stuff to come out, for people to talk about it, for a case to be made. And I didn't even finish up. We thought that if you paid down the debt, that interest that's not being collected over time was even a better benefit and one that just grows and grows and grows to the citizens of the community. So that was the smartest in terms of there's a payback. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not a one-time thing. And they make arguments, well, if we build this stadium, if we do this or do that, there's going to be a payback. It isn't always the case. And Stadiums never have a payback. Yeah. So, um, you don't. know, that it would be nice, but if it's that nice, then worldwide raise the money. All these people are from a lot of them were from private groups, and uh, they think that our tax money should go to them. Well, a lot of people don't have any interest in what they do, and why should they, again, pay for it yet a second time, or third time, or fourth time? You know, it just so never you think ends. That paying down debt. If the communities can pay down debt, or I think some of the smaller communities are going to actually do some road repairs and things like that and pay cash for them so that they don't bond out for 20 years on uh, that long-term debt. So that really is a benefit that keeps the property taxes down. People get newer roads. Everybody's happy. You know, I don't think anybody complained about a newer road and less money to spend on government. Um, well, I did. Yeah? Back when we lived out in the country, the road was fine, and they resurfaced it. Oh. And, you know, and maybe they had to do some other infrastructure or something. Oh, but, more than likely. It still drove me a little bit crazy. Why? Because they tore it up in front of your house? Well, well, but, <laughs> yeah. but, well, because I know the money that it costs. Oh, and I boy. know that they don't pay cash. Nope. So it's not just today's money. It's nope. tomorrow's money. And, and uh, next year's and next year's, you know. Yeah. I never ends you know and meanwhile i know that there are plenty of places that needed the work done so i'm yeah. like this is just a poor yeah we should have we're, we're also talking at the meeting i'm going to digress a little bit but there's uh langley county the reason i brought it up is they are just months away from being totally no debt wow. for that whole county they pinched and squeezed and all the employees said okay we'll forego any increases and things like that for a particular period of time they are going to be totally debt free and um actually some of the cities and communities around here you know they're they're trying to do that i guess uh howard has uh, gotten very close to being debt free there's just a few things that um they have debt on so debt that's one of those hard guttural words that nobody likes 
So does that end up being like a um, if you're if you're not in debt and uh, do you, are you at a at a, uh, a disadvantage at all ever? Because I feel like if uh, uh, you know what I Depending, mean. Depending like, here's where the you know the, the I mean? only rub that we saw to it and that was brought up is if you use the money in a certain way, then you and you don't uh, collect as much revenue as you did the year before, then the revenue caps get lowered, mm -hmm. and you can't collect as much as you needed for the subsequent year right so you got to be careful how you do it and in some cases some of the bonds that were uh you cannot pay them off early they uh, they don't they have a feature in them that don't allow you to to make an extra payment or anything like that they're going to be there for the period of time because those bondholders you know they invest in that right. So they want that a return. They, yeah, they want a guaranteed rate of return. So that's what I, w I was wondering because it feels like structurally there's some reasons why we always go to do those things publicly. It, well, they did because they're already carrying – the debt grows over time. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just the story in this country too, and it's hard to for you to keep your family debt-free. Most of us have a mortgage, mm -hmm. uh, things like that. And so – you know, the, you, you don't feel like you'll ever get out from under it. Some people do. Right. And uh, but it's getting harder and harder. And uh, and every time you move, you buy a bigger house or whatever. Sure. I've gone through that one. Holy smokes. But it was worth it in the long run. But yeah, that that's the part. The debt has grown over time. Um, however, when they some of these communities that are getting debt free have a much better time of doing the things they really want and they're not constrained by having to go to someone else and it's going to be more expensive at one point right now rates are very very low most of these communities have refinanced gotten their rate down as much as they can um, and but i think when they refinance i'm wondering how far out they push that debt again you know that's the i was in the mortgage business for almost 20 years and uh you know you got to be careful that you're not just making this go on forever well when you say something is, has a 17 year payback or all of right. like or a 30 year bond right i mean uh, uh, you are punting it to your kids and your yep, grandkids they're 20 year bonds on some of the equipment they're they're doing that on it's just not got that kind of shelf life so that's sort of not the way to do it so when if you now some of it if it's a, you're building a new building a new school or something like that yeah that makes sense that makes sense to possibly because they're usually big ticket, big, big ticket items. No one's got that much cash on hand. And uh, people don't like it when governments stockpile too much cash either. We saw right. that in the last few years. Right. Like the university system and things. And they smacked them all down. So I'm going to uh, take a quick break. We're going to uh, talk about my sponsors. Oh, yeah. Because I'm, I, you, know, you got I, some good people. I, so, I, so I drive my Mercedes and they pay for it. Okay. No, I don't. Yeah. I, my car is older than. We do have the to talk about that wrap job on that Mercedes when you get that. <laughs> the the rap, I would totally do that. <laughs> I don't have Mercedes kind of you, budget you, for you. You know so. I would. I know you would. Well, you know, I heard Cam Kearns build a new building. I'm you could probably you could probably fit a Mercedes Maybe. in the budget there. <laughs> we'll <somewhere>. see. <laughs> <laughs> so that voice is Nick, and is. he is uh, with Camera Corner Studios. Like this is his amazing thing. He asked me to. Like, hey, he's like, uh, you were talking about doing a podcast, and I totally have a way for you to do that. Oh, that's, so I will help you out. That's great. And uh, so, like, I would literally be uh, – well, I would have a lot more work to do without Nick, for sure, at the very least. And uh, I think it's amazing. And uh, so we talked last time, and you have a lot of politician friends. So what Camera Corner Studios does is they make things like this kind of affordable by – you know, leasing it out by the hour. Yeah, that's what uh, Nick had told me a little bit of how they cool. changed how they do these things. And probably politicians and a small business owners, startups, yeah. gives them a, a, a road in to get something done without having to pay for maybe time they don't need or things like well, that. So I was talking about this uh, um, with, with my last guest who was running for city council. Mm -hmm. uh, 370 bucks to do a bunch of little video ads that you can put online, put on your website, email out to people, whatever. And not I mean, bad. Well, right. And you know, local campaigns, you got to have yard signs. And like, if you do mailers, I yeah. mean, you could drop, I've done that. You could I've, drop I've a thousand run, bucks on mailers. I've run for two different offices and yeah, and postage keeps expensive. going up. <laughs> it's the time and effort that goes into it. I mean, 
getting something into the mail isn't like just writing out a postcard. Maybe. Man, you've got to go down to the printers. You've got to proof everything. Get it all printed. Get it back. Then the post office has very stiff rules on how they want that stuff to be bundled yep. together and separated out. Absolutely. And you got to bring it out to the main office. And you got to yeah. take it out there. So, <laughs> yeah. So, and go ahead, Nick, and, uh, you know, say whatever so else you want to say. But this, this is a $370 where, package yeah. that he's got. And I, I just, I know what it usually takes to do video. To do this like kind we of spent thousands technology. of dollars doing a 30 second spot. I don't know, a long time ago. Long time ago. <laughs> but, well, but yeah, no, so. I've seen, I've seen the ads you had on TV and things like, like that. Thousands of dollars. And yeah, like, I'm sure. And they were, they were fine, but like, well, uh, I did, know, I know. So Nick's what was the payback balance. on that? <laughs> 30 years. <laughs> I'm still waiting for that. That's why I'm switching. I'm yeah. switching careers. I'm in, I'm in the broadcasting business now. Yeah, how's yeah. that going? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. yeah how's that going? So anything to add on that, Nick? Uh, just the number. I mean, honestly, you guys have given me the, the review that I couldn't give myself. Um, you know, the, the idea there is to keep it affordable and, and accessible. So if you want to get in, give me a call. Uh, the number here is 920-272-0148. And awesome. it'll look a lot better than a selfie. <laughs> yeah. I think my <laughs> selfie that I took was amazing. <laughs> There are lots of uh, selfies that take place here. You know, yeah, well. you know I, I think I have this like a uh, uh, masochistic streak where I just invite people on who just they just beat me down. Yeah, it's really rough. I, I think I've <laughs> taken two of them, and uh, one of them was with my cat. I don't know why. You just took one with me. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> See, we got to get you on the Snapchat. I don't count those as selfies. Right. We, we got to get on you on the, the Snapchat. Snapchat. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've heard about that one. And then they just disappear. Didn't you just snap no, me the other day? I don't think they just disappear. I well, really don't buy that one. I sure hope so. Nothing <laughs> disappears. <laughs> it's been proven they don't. Yeah, nothing <sighs> disappears. Oh, ask Mrs. Clinton. Who's, wow. Who's, I'll start the timer. <laughs> sounds like we're back on the show. <laughs> whose server I'll go got away now. Wow, the master of the segue. The server you got scrubbed. learn something. <laughs> I, I've thank learned a lot. God they can find that stuff because uh, yeah. So what is your take on that? Like like really I, like really, I like I know really that I think she I, has such an enormous uh, ego that she didn't think she had to run by the same rules as everyone else. That I'm better, you know. I know a little more. I'm you know probably better educated about these things. You know what? You're not when it comes to hackers. You know that. You know mm -hmm. that very well. That there are people out there that. And get in places and things, uh, and most people now have probably been popped somehow on their in their internet by a scam or a fish or something like that. And it be amazing if you haven't had one or two of those things happen to you. Well, most businesses, especially larger enterprises, yep. uh, you know, even if you bring your own cell phone, yep. they put you on. And when you are when you quit or you're fired, your emails get deleted. Yeah, like boom. So, like, I mean, they don't get deleted, deleted. They get but, removed from you. Like, yeah. so she has these things at home. She had a server at home. Like, what is that or, all about? And, <laughs> and part of it was in a, in a, a someone else, you know, a business that was off site, too. Right. So I don't think a lot of that was very smart. And they're finding out that some of the things that, that could have possibly, uh, if someone had hacked in, and I would, I, by the amount of hack, hacking information that we've learned of in the last little while i'm sure that someone's gotten in there and there were some the the most recent ones they think may have been about some of our uh, uh, our spies let's call them what they are spies for the united states government if so if they get outed that's bad bad news sure it's uh, so i think we should probably be doing less of that as a country anyway but Oh but, yeah, but, but well, the, I don't know. But that doesn't mean it's okay for it, our. It's, our it's neither officials. here nor there. I mean, <laughs> someone's doing it against us. Oh, right. One of my very right. dearest and oldest friends, uh, you know, he got caught by the government and got turned into uh, an operative for them. He was a brilliant young person with a computer that got into oh, wow. the places he shouldn't have. They came in the black vans and said, "You have a choice to do this or go to jail." Oh so my gosh. He got. To where he had to go out and literally get find you know hack into other governments places and things like that for our so i know that but everybody does it to each other and he says you know they're doing it to us i don't know what 
And that's the foolish thing is if you think that so someone you, else, you've got to have some parity there. You've got to let your allies and friends know we're watching. And some of the time, yeah, maybe it's not that we should be watching you, but we are watching. And So do you have a problem with it because it's Hillary Clinton? Or because if if anybody had that position, I don't think I, I don't think that's good. And I found out who there was one other that got uh, exposed right after that. It's not good for our national security. So, it just isn't, especially at those levels. So, do you have a problem with the fact that she uh, broke protocol, or that you think that that should be shouldn't be the protocol? Because I mean, she, she 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 broke, she broke the law, protocol. right? Yeah, she well, she broke protocol too. That she was right. given instructions as part of her introduction to her her position that she was to follow. Mm -hmm. She never did. She felt she uh, I don't know why, other than she felt she was above it. Because why would you go do that if you knew that someone told you everything's got to go through our servers so that we can be as secure as possible with them? Um, and, you know, what you do at home is your business. And so are you familiar with the Petraeus thing? Oh, yeah. So how would you contrast those two situations? It sounds like she's done even more egregious errors. And she has a higher position. Yeah, she had a much more sensitive position, although he was pretty far up mm -hmm. there. So I don't know. It's two people that but he had to quit. made bad. He'd get more than And they're stripping quit. him of yeah, stuff. Yeah, they stripped him yeah. a lot of stuff. So, that you know. People make bad decisions. And she's looking to increase her retirement fund. <laughs> what? Like she needs to? She's always got her foundation. Come on. I mean, I know politically you don't like her anyway, but uh, and I and I'm not a super huge fan either. So I, but but like I don't I don't like her position. But I don't. Yeah. You know, I, personally, I but don't. But aside know, from that, I, I think don't you, know her. Uh, I think you would call out anybody who did that. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think we should. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, like that's not right. And that's what we pay them for. That's what we have yeah, these huge budgets hoping, for. Why? Why does she need to be doing her own thing? Yeah. I, I still, I still really don't even understand why she would want to do that. That's what I <laughs> sit there and shake my head. Why would you spend the money unless there were things going between you and people that shouldn't have been going through while you were in that position? You didn't want to be but bothered. She, but she could have used Snapchat for those. She, uh, <laughs> yeah, why, with, yeah. Why didn't you just use Snapchat? I mean, with the Sultan of Brunei or someone like that, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. One yeah. of her big donors. Is that's, the, is that's, the, is the that's, Sultan one of her big donors? Who the hell knows? <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were making She's news. She's had some really big donors out there. Wow. Money that came from a lot of places for that foundation that, you know, were people that don't like us. So. Uh, so, and we could talk for hours about. Oh God, about yes. The, about the, there's no the, end to that. So locally, you know. Well, no, I wanted to ask you. <laughs> I wanted. To, I wanted to just uh, like your 30 All second right. thoughts on on the presidential race. Oh boy, uh, you know, I I always think it's healthy that you have this kind of insanity that we go through every four, and it truly is insanity we go through every four years. They don't in England, man. They they uh, there's like this majority of parliament, and then that pop out a prime minister for that majority that's formed that is not the truth here we could we've had majorities here in one on either uh party but it didn't mean that the the president was going to be from that majority so i think that brings a lot of balance to our system and if you watch back a number of years I, you know people don't always want it all coming from one direction no and uh probably for good reasons. So you'll see some things tighten up on some sides, and uh, who knows? But, it, yeah, it's it, it's fascinating to so see the, what's going so on, especially all the stuff that's going on, I would say, in the – well, both parties. I mean, you know, you look at Bernie Sanders. So I want to so, so I wanna, I wanna get one – I want you to give me one adjective for each of these four, these four front runners. okay? I'll start with Ted Cruz. One adjective. One adjective. Or whatever. One word. Uh, <laughs> Don't think too hard. <laughs> great debater. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, and uh, Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Uh, smart on his feet. Okay. Uh, Hillary Clinton. Not as friendly as I'd like. <laughs> Interesting. Not as, she just doesn't seem like someone I'd have a beer with. <laughs> and, and, and Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders. 
He reminds me of my uh, uh, some of the professors I had in Madison in the late sixties. <laughs> Very right. <laughs> well put. My first encounter <laughs> with socialism. <laughs> Uh, see, and I know I we I think we could, we could dedicate. And I left to, there because I got Sanders. tear gassed so many times on that campus. I said I'm out of here, and I went to Los Angeles. So we did. Uh, 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 Nick has a, a podcast that he does too, and so we we did a. Uh, we, we he was Bernie Sanders, but like a fake Bernie oh, Sanders. Oh no! It, it was, hasn't been released yet. <laughs> Oh. It's the craziest thing I've ever heard. I it's have a- not done the editing that is required to make that episode <laughs> okay. publicly accessible. So he, yeah, it's it's. Will it, it ever be? I don't know. I'm a Probably afraid. not. <laughs> it's a little off the rails. Uh, uh, so, <laughs> so, ba- so on the on the local election, and uh-huh. uh, so, I, and I, I briefly talked about this with you, but the uh, so I'm trying. Good. And I'm going to fail, I know, but I'm going to, you know, I want, I wanted the opportunity to be there for everybody who's running for county board, city council, city council, you know, all the local elections. Yep. So I want all the candidates. So are you going out to all the small communities, too? <clears throat> uh, like Pulaski? Well, or? so, so that's, I, I will. Yeah. Uh, uh, the thing is, it's like, hard to get to all of them. I'm not going to call them all. So, like, we need to get what, the word out. What, no. What you do is you go down to Sandy Juno's office, uh, the county clerk. Yeah, she's got everybody that's in any election. Okay, she's got all because they all had to register with her. She's got everybody's name, address, and more than likely their email address. And if you can't pull that off of her uh, uh, spreadsheet and pop them out to where are you, you volunteering need to do this for me? No, <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm doing it for us already. <laughs> so I don't want to send out a, so. we send out a, a candidate questionnaire every uh, election for the. County board. Well, if you primarily. have the list, you should just give it to me. Well, I've got the partial list. I That's don't have fine. all the other smaller uh, oh, outlying okay. communities. So I don't think we're going to have time just for all that because board. I want to get. I want. So some of them have primaries and they're yep. coming up real quick. Yep. So uh, I, you, we we're not going to send out our questionnaire till that settled. So I we actually want to get the ones who are yeah. in a primary right away, and then we have another month. To, to get the other ones. Yep. Um, so how are you doing with that? Well, I, mean, I did the first. Well, I, so I had Alex in already, uh-huh. uh, but then I had uh, Vanya in uh, just before you. Okay. And uh, I thought that I went well. I think I met her at Him. the last listening no, session. No, this is a different one, guy. Okay. Lady. Yeah, this is a guy. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, no, no. I mean, uh, we talked about his name, so. Well, <laughs> and it's it's a it's a tough it, tough one. Yeah. Eastern European name, more than likely. I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't uh, actually, yeah. I don't know where it came from. Yeah, yeah. probably. Um, the name. So, the, uh, um, I guess, uh, it, at, so as you, and maybe separately as a taxpayer association, I guess I'd like your thoughts on the election, first of all. The city, county? Uh, start with the, which either, either one that you... Um, I'm, I'm a bit surprised that, so many uh, candidates came out to run against some people. It's probably good. But in some of the races where there are two or three, you're wondering why would that many people come out to run against some of these folks? Because that's where they live. So, I know, but some of them, you know, for some of the candidates, they I They would all run against a particular person yeah, if they could. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Um, Not mentioning any names. Yeah, but. I don't want to mention any names, but, you know, it's like it seems – especially after seeing the, the article in the Press Gazette about the mayor tried to encourage people. He, he would go to the neighborhood associations and try and encourage people to run against particular, I don't know if he's named candidates, but he apparently, and I don't have proof of this because I wasn't there, but intimated that uh, people should run against some of these candidates because they've not been good for the city council or for him getting done what he thinks ought to be done. That could be sticking your nose in a little more than it should. To encourage people to go out and run for public office, my God, the election before, nobody ran against anyone. Right. It was like, well, why are we even holding this? So, I mean— so that that part of it, I I like that. So it's a tough thing though because yep. I mean it's it's a lot of effort to run. Oh, it, it's ridiculous. Uh, and and, I, and no matter how hard you work, people will say, "Well, nobody knocked on my door." Yeah. Well, I ran. For, <laughs> I, I was living down in Hobart, and I ran for, uh, I think it was District 20, 21, where Bill Clancy. That was one fifth of the entire landmass of Brown County. Was it's that just, district? 
I couldn't cover that. I wasn't going to go work. down. And oh, but not only that, it was like right now is the mm-hmm. dead of winter. I'm going to walk down that farm road, and there's some twenty dogs there. No, no. I was I'd saying love that. To meet like, you guys. Why? Why don't we move the spring election to be in June? I had to <laughs> come. I had to have the, and I spent a lot of money. The most at the time there was a, an issue about our dump. You know, that they wanted to build another dump down in uh, Wrightstown area or Holland, the Holland dump, which they still have that property. Anyway, so in order to try and catch an eye, I I bought some zillions of uh, trash bags and then put a little mailer inside of them, stuck the trash bag out where they to bring up the issue. Nice. Uh, God, you try. But that that's a lot of work. Just getting enough people to go around and get that in every mailbox in that district was putting on hundreds and hundreds of miles. So, uh, if you could give any advice to any of the candidates, what would you what would you say to them? Uh, you know, get out to as many people as you can. I mean, if you're in a, an urban area, just get out and knock on doors because you're going to lose if you don't. You either got to get in. Isn't that sort of a paradox, though? Because do we want people that have that much free time to be able to do that? Is that who we I want? I didn't have free time. Us? I had a full time job. Yeah. You want the people that are going to make the time and make the effort. Okay. So, um, and a lot of the, some of the folks are retired. That's fine. I don't have a problem then if they, you know, have time. A lot of people aren't home during the day either. So mm-hmm. that's not always the best time to go. The best time to go is like from four o'clock on. And this time of year, that's just you're only going to get a few hours, and then you're in the dark. So and then the big dogs like, come out. So you can go from like four <laughs> until maybe eight, right? Yeah. So and, how and, many? Like and then realistically, how many people can you reach? Uh, that's tough. Well, if you do it every night, and on Saturday you put in a boatload of time. When I ran, I wouldn't for, want anybody knock on my door before eight o'clock in before, the morning, though. Before <laughs> that, I ran for school board. That's even more oh, of that's, an area than the, the mayor has to cover. That's insane. Yeah. So you know I did that. <laughs> and I did, and I did and not do a, well. <laughs> oh, you did. Yes. It was close, but you know, it was. Uh, I had a lot of money against me. Well, you, all of the money. Had, all you, of the money was against me. Yeah, you had. You had a. You <laughs> there had were three a, slots, cons- and there were four people. <laughs> you had a constituency that you were up against that. <laughs> Believe me, they didn't want you there. Oh, I know. Yeah. Oh, well, they told I, me that. I was yeah, well, <laughs> the same. And I it even was fine. Went, I even went to the union hall because I was I when I was. But you know, fifteen, like, I had a team. The thing is, like, I don't care that I didn't win, and like, I don't know that I would want to win, right? But it'd be a tough place. But to I be. can't stand when I go to the to the election booth and there's no choices. Nope. That makes me that yeah. makes me crazy. Like I, I literally will scream out in in the poll. <laughs> the school board. Nobody wants to run against the, the 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 people that have been there for so long. It's just impossible. They're so entrenched. And they would say that that's because of the experience. Yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. 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 What does what does that have to do with anything? You know, I don't necessarily think that their experience has always been all that good. I mean, look where they hire their top managers. They don't. Hi- in fact, we found out yesterday at the meeting. In order for you to be a principal, you had to have been a teacher. Now, that's not necessarily the best administrator you could hire, is it? Right. You know, right. Uh, you know, and good administrators come out of uh, potentially different businesses and things like that, where they've been very effective at, you know, managing their manpower. Their budgets. Oh, I always loved going up the chain. I always said, what's the job of a principal? And then people would describe something. I'd be like, so what's the job of the uh, superintendent? What's the job of the school board? Yeah. What's the job of the Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction? Well, I went, to, I went to a lot of <laughs> – like, yeah. yeah. Oh, man, I went to a lot of the uh, the schools and yeah. to, to interview with the principal and to mm-hmm. try and make my case. Oh, one of the things – one of the guys – one of the guys that said – I got to go through four different layers of bureaucracy to get a new light bulb and my security lights outside. True. And it's like, you got to be kidding me. Yeah. So, but on the other hand, we want crazy. we want accountability and tracking of where the money goes too, though. So, I mean, I well, good luck. <laughs> Quarter billion dollars a year on this school system in this city. Quarter of a billion. That's a lot. That's the biggest chunk of How our many taxes. Students? Uh, I think they're guessing 12,000 it's about 12,000 
dollars per student. So it's somewhere around twelve thousand, maybe thirteen thousand. But Thir- that's thirteen thousand students. Yeah. I think it's twelve something. I shouldn't it's ask been questions. Falling I, a little. See, bit. I would make a horrible attorney. I, I I'm supposed to know the answers to questions that I ask. Well, <laughs> I I should know it, but I've I've watched it over the years. I know that it's uh, roughly we spend about twelve thousand something per student, and if it, if I look at the budget, it's a quarter billion dollars, not counting Fund eighty, which is another whole subject. <laughs> Money they can uh, put on your tax bill that they don't have to go to you for and get approvals for. They can just slap it on. We actually got that stopped. We got it curtailed at the level it is. But, jeez. It's it, like there's never enough. And, you know, you know that a, a good portion of it's going to labor costs. So, 36 schools. Doesn't say. It's yeah, I, if you're going to this school the, district, they don't have that number rate. That's, that's rate available. I thought it was higher than twelve thousand. That's the only reason I was really. Well, I'm just going. Yeah. You know, quarter billion, twenty five, two hundred fifty million. Yeah. Divide that out by twelve. You know, twelve thousand yeah. per student. You're going to get somewhere around okay. twelve thousand kids. Interesting. Uh, so uh, I want to. Uh, I am good at the old math. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. I just like to you know trust but verify. <laughs> Um, and I like to be if precise. If you could, I you like go to, to their precise. website. I couldn't find it anywhere. I actually thought I it would be on there, and it's not. searched everywhere. And it's not on Wikipedia. And either. I put in yeah. their search feature, and I couldn't find it. So that's that's sort of uh, not. I think that's not good. That's not good. Yeah, like that's one thing that should absolutely and, be there. And, if you think that's and they should be good, proud of that. You should go look at their budget and how that's laid out. I have. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that a miasma? Huh? That's a sewer and a miasma. You can use all the adjectives you want about well, that. It is the most complicated, it's foolishly obvious that, done yeah. thing. No, it, well, it's obvious that things are They're are trying to hide it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're obfuscating uh, how they're spending money on certain things. Yeah. We should be able, with all the computer-aided um, should be math, very clearly math, categorized. You should be able to yeah. go in there yeah. and drill down to what it's costing for that classroom. It should be public. Very public. Yeah, very public. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so and a, as we finish up, so I So wa- I, didn't, I didn't look at the – are you inter- interviewing any of the uh, school board uh, folks? None have come forward yet. None have come forward, so, okay. And I don't know that they're contested at all. I, I don't actually know uh, the answer to that. There might have been one person – If they're not contested, they're not going to do it. Yeah, <laughs> no. Well, but that's funny. I mean, even a couple of people I know that aren't contested in some of these races, they still go. Yeah, and well, they're smart. It's Otherwise, good long you're term. Yeah, yeah, it's well. Yeah. You want to know what people want, and right. especially with this excess tax and and things like that. So yeah. So I'm gonna uh, thank my other sponsor real quick, and yeah. then I want to loop back to uh, your ideas about the Taxpayer Association and uh, whatnot. Good. We'll finish up. Uh, so I want to thank Release Wire, and real briefly, uh, we're gonna be uh, doing some other cool things with Release Wire. But uh, for right now, Release Wire is a service that. Uh, small businesses can go to, and they 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 have a press release service, so they'll send it out everywhere Fantastic. for for publicizing things. So it's a great small business tool. They're based right here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Although they have they have clients nationwide, tens of thousands of small businesses go to them, and but they're kind and of they're, a, they're local. They're local. Oh uh, Daniel goodness. Jones is the president. Uh, I've known him forever. Genius, and uh, he actually was on our presidential podcast. Uh, and uh, anyway, so if you're a small business, you should go set up a profile. They have a free profile that you can set up. Uh, just go to releasewire.com, set that up, and there's all sorts of instructions on how you can what a cost get the word savings out. to a small amazing. business. And, it's amazing and immediate. Yeah, and he actually uh, um, he he is it's a family business, so he has a lot of his uh, his kids are involved, and he's a big advocate for disabled people. So like he's. Uh, he 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 talks the talk and walks the walk, yeah. so to speak. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there, so there are some that do. Yeah, so he's a he's a he's an unsung hero. Uh, hero is probably a strong word, but like he's, he's a, a good guy. He's a good guy. <laughs> he, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Love and, to meet him. And he's my friend, and he's a good guy. So like I I, I yeah I I, I try yeah, to talk that, up my friends. But that business, you know, I I was in small business most of my life, and. Uh, Everything from a little ice cream shop to uh, a tile contractor in Los well, Angeles. Well, what's the tough thing is, is letting people your know word out. That, yeah, yeah. Well, just letting people Absolutely. know you exist, right? So, uh, and maybe maybe that's something we can just uh, touch on with the taxpayer association. So, uh, give me your uh, elevator pitch. 
for well one of the areas that i and that maybe that press release would be a place to go out is if he's going to a lot of businesses businesses are the people that are most affected by the taxes in this area this community statewide community wide they're the ones paying the biggest go and to get them to at least be a part of it what we don't our uh, membership list has never been available i've never seen it but twice in all the 12 years plus that i've been president it's kept quiet i mean because we have people from all parts of the community from what you would call the opposition to everybody that is a member so um we, we respect everybody's privacy and we just want to get information out but i'd like to get more information out to businesses because they do pay the biggest go they should let the the people asking them for more taxes know that they're watching because so that makes a heck how of do a you difference. become a member uh well you can go to our website which is uh, bctataxpayer.org i believe uh, it got changed, so I, it, when I get onto it on my computer, it's, but you can. Uh, there's a membership form there, and it also publishes our newsletter every month. Uh, but we've had some small changes there. One of our oldest members uh, just had some physical situations come up uh, that made it impossible for him to even see the computer for a little while. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, that throws a little curve into you when you're all, uh, everyone is, you know, just offering your time up when and where you can. You know, never have been any paid positions, and uh, a lot of us donate other things to it. So, and is there cost? I think it's fifteen dollars a year, and if twenty five, if you're a family, so fifteen dollars a month, and they can a year. Oh, really? Yes, a year. So there's no damn excuse for you not to be a member. And you get a tax uh, newsletter, and there's information. And uh, you can always go to our Facebook page, which is Brown County Taxpayers Association, and uh, we'll publish a newsletter there and send out articles that we think are of importance to us in the state and locally. Once in a while, something, if it's tax-related uh, nationally. but So you cover a lot of local politics and try lo to. local yeah, taxpayer keep an eye issues. on things so that one thing i was wondering is I, um how unique is the brown county taxpayer association are there like does every county have a taxpayer no, association no there are a few uh we're second oldest i believe in the state that has been around and uh there's one in milwaukee i think that's been around a little bit longer one of the suburbs of milwaukee okay so but there was when you saw the Tea Party stuff, when people were paying more attention, let's cut it that way. It wasn't about a particular party. People were yeah. just, they're PO'd, and I think they're PO'd again. And they tend to want to get more involved because they're seeing that the people that are running the show ain't running a very good show. Right. And a lot of, if they're not getting huge wage increases and nothing's getting cheaper, you know, when. God, it drives me crazy. They say, like, oh, the cost of living, you know, I'm, I'm on Social Security. So I get Social Security. They mm -hmm. say, the t you know, the cost of living didn't go up. So we're, you know, it didn't. My food bill certainly went up, but I'm not, I don't eat steak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I just, it's uh, amazing that, that some of the things aren't counted. It's the way they changed the, the rules a while back on how they count the cost of living. It's very skewered. So you want to have more businesses involved. So more businesses because I think they're, you know, or anybody that wants. We don't have anything you want to do is welcome, but you're not asked or required to be at a meeting or just be involved uh, because one of the, the best things is. So they give you 15 bucks, they get a newsletter. Right. And they could show up to the meetings they even if they're not meeting the meetings. members. Yep, yep, absolutely. They, it's open to the public, always has been. Okay. Um, and it's published on Facebook and those places where we're meeting, what time. It's the third Thursday of every month. It's always been that, 12 noon. And like I said, right now it's a Four Seasons Tennis Club. There's a restaurant in there called Take Five, Doug's Take Five. We have a room there, 12 noon, third Thursday every month. So um, for as long as I can remember. 
Okay. And we, we tried holding evening meetings and things like that. And I just, nobody shows up. Right. Because they, when they're done with their day, they want to be done with their day. Yeah. And, uh, no, you make and it an event. People, yeah, people said, well, I can't get away from work. And, well, it's tough. And it's I, one yeah, way or the other. Yeah. People's got to make, you know, yeah. it, they will if they need to. You have to make it a priority. Yeah. If, 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 if you priority. need, if yeah. there's something going on that you really right. know you have to be involved in, you'll be there. So, uh, yep. Uh, closing thoughts. Otherwise, we can wrap it up. No, I thank you. Uh, it's good. Again, this is good. Uh, one of the things that we've always recognized is because we do uh, voice maybe a different opinion or it's another voice in the community that media comes to us for our opinion about it because they gives them they can walk away going all right we did a little more fair and balanced job of you know presenting the issue in in town so and that's typically you you're typically the, yeah, the, the spokesperson. The face spokesperson for yeah. a lot of it um yeah and there, you are do a couple a great job. Of, there are a couple other people that, well, thank you. I don't think I always do, but, um, and a lot of it is uh, the editors, too. I got to tell you. Wow. <laughs> you got to, I've learned, I've learned yeah. that the hard way. Oh, I have too. You, you've got to be careful. And what that's you why, say. I, that's why I like to give people a little more time, and we don't edit it. So, you yeah. Know, I'm not going to, no, this I'm, is great. I'm not going to cut you down to the 15 seconds where you just, you know, Cut down I'm used planning. to that. <laughs> when I get my, then I, but then I'm prepared with one zinger at least, awesome. so that uh, they get something I know they're going to print. So we have a closing track, right? We're yeah. Do that. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, thank, thank you, you again, thank you, Richard. Yeah. Oh, do you, no. Wait. Wait. Yes. 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 This is a regular episode, right? This isn't a special this edition. Is a regular episode. episode. You have a final question. Oh you didn't my ask. goodness. Oh my god. So. Th thank you, Nick. Yes. Yay. So I always so I always ask everyone. So I'm getting we're talking politics, and I'm used to the politics. Yeah. Thing. So See? yeah, I'm I'm an amateur. So knowing that I'm an amateur, and you are much more professional. When you come back, and you're my co-host, ah. who would you like sitting in that chair? Who would you like to? Who interview? would I like sitting in this chair? Thank you, Nick. No problem. <sighs> From the local area here. Some of them doesn't have to be local. Some, it just, just can't be somebody oh. who's dead. Oh, <laughs> well, and someone hopefully someone we could possibly get. Yeah, yeah. yeah so we could possibly. So get. okay. So and, and I can do phones. I'd if like we Troy Streckenbach to. Come. Troy would be yeah. great. Troy he would be, be great. a great choice. Yeah, because he's uh, he's done some really good things, and then some things I go and shake my head and go. Okay. So when you call so him, there's good questions you can have, and there's things that you you'd learn from what he's been able to do because. I haven't seen a lot go up in my county tax bill. Well, we know Troy listens. Yep. So uh, we should make sure that your schedule can work with his, I'll, and we'll uh, have you back. I'm, I'll make it work. Awesome. Just like thank get you very to much. our meetings. Yep. Thank All you right. very much. Thank you. Okay, thank you both. Okay, thanks, Richard. forget to run over to iTunes and Stitcher and give a rating and review of the show. It helps other people find us. Cheers.